Okay. Thought I'd make a little video about snakes. This is Elvis. Elvis is a king snake. King snakes are uh, native to the uh, United States, and this is an eastern king snake, which is native here in North Carolina, and you can find it on the Cherokee tribal lands. King snakes uh, look a lot like what's called a black rat snake. But you can tell the difference because of that band going across their body. You see that? And their heads are a little bit different. They capture their prey a little differently too because they largely eat different things. So black rat snakes, because it's in the name there, largely eat rodents. These guys will eat other snakes. So a lot of people know that. King snakes eat other snakes. And locally here I've heard a lot of people say that black snakes eat other snakes so they're the good snakes. Um, but they might be mistaking them for these. So they do look really similar. So another thing a lot of people talk about are that, that uh, snakes will chase them down. Well snakes largely, in North America anyway, have no interest in eating you. They don't want to chase you down. They don't really care about even attacking you unless they're defending themselves. So those are two different things, defending themselves and attacking you. Also, they're not very fast. This guy is not moving very fast. It can go a little faster than this, but your normal walking gait is usually faster than what these guys can go. Another thing to note, these are non-venomous. You might, might have heard the word poisonous, and um, that's kind of a mischaracterization of uh, snakes. What that means is uh, poison is usually ingested, venom is injected. So that's the difference. So spiders can be venomous. And some snakes can be venomous, but this one is not, so it does not inject venom in anybody. So, Elvis here is safe to handle. He has never bitten me. We use him for outreach with kids. Um, but uh, if he did bite me, it'd probably feel a little bit like uh, briars or thorns. Um, so, it, it wouldn't hurt that bad. But, it wouldn't feel good either. So you don't want it to happen. But his worst defense so far has been his musky. Now that's on the other end. Snakes have one hole under their body that they made out of, they pee out of, they poo out of, they do everything out of that little hole. And it's called the cloaca or vent. And that's where they also create that musky smell. And a lot of snakes do that. Most snakes do. Some have a more pungent smell than others, but Elvis here does have that. And he actually did that to me today because I haven't had him out of his cage in a while. So what I'm doing here is I'm letting him get a little bit of natural sunlight. It's good for him. Snakes, uh, I can't keep him out here very long because it's only about 45 degrees out. And uh, snakes are what we call ectotherms, which means they change their temperature with their environment around them. So they really rely on the temperature around them. So although the natural sun's good for him this winter time, which it's kind of warm for winter here, um, is probably not going to be all that good for him. So I want to bring him inside after a little bit. So these are really neat animals and they deserve some respect and some protection. So folks that kill them, um, you know, that they might not really understand their importance. So Elvis here eats other snakes. He'll even eat a rattlesnake. So, um, which I think rattlesnakes have their place too. Um, there's even an old story, Cherokee story, about rattlesnakes revenge, which teaches people not to just go out and kill snakes. Kind of a really sad story if you haven't heard it. But, uh, mostly it teaches to respect them, give them some space, you see, snakes can start to be afraid of you because, one, you tower over them. They're a lot bigger. So when they do strike at you, 
they're defending themselves because you're you can be up to five times their size so they turn and strike because they can't go anywhere so also notice they don't have any arms or legs so defending themselves is left up to that musking and turning and striking okay he's gonna start burying himself so it's about time for Elvis to go inside Elvis needs to go inside the building thanks for listening I hope you learned something.